Hello good people, this is Jason Irvin, aka The Janitor, here bringing you another episode of Wash, Rinse, and Repeat. Now today we have a very special episode for you guys. I got my friend here, Tim Stover, aka Sick Kill, aka Skillet. <laughs> Okay, Sick Killer, Killer, Sub 17. Right? All, all <laughs> the above. And what we're talking about is just the basics of computer security, how to start, how to begin, how to get there, how we got there. And hopefully that brings us into a new series of um, computer security and just um, more focus on helping you get there is what this series is about. So that's what we're doing and we're going to start with a you know right off bat with a who am i session and i guess you guys already know who i am jason Irvin, aka the janitor so we're going to go ahead and start with tim here and figure out kind of who he is how he got started and uh you know how to get to where he is right now so tim what, what's the good news man who are you uh <laughs> Gonna go back here a little bit. Gonna go back in time a little bit right, right. to kind of give a little bit of an overview of where I am. Uh, I started in the hacking culture, cybersecurity culture before it was even called the cybersecurity culture in '94. My school got my high school. I'm dating myself here now. Got the internet '94, sophomore year going in. We had a, we had a uh, computer room, yep. computer lab. And this is all Windows 93, like going in 95. Nice, nice. So we, I got onto the computers and went, I'm on the internet. This is, I was raised on computers, raised on the old IBM, the DOSs. I knew computers, I got on the internet. Yes. I don't know if you remember we, your first time dude, on the internet. dialed but, up my mom. Oh, dialed oh up. Oh my goodness, yep. the AOL, the welcome. <laughs> well, it's got the old CDs. Oh yeah, in the you mail. got mail. Yeah, that was yep. it, man. That was, that was I remember up. those. Dial up. <laughs> right, until I got my mom kicked off. Sorry, mom. And then I ended up having to go. I did, man. I Hang got, up the phone, I gotta use the internet. No, it was all bad, man, it was all bad. So I, I ended up getting that. net zero. Yeah. Net oh, zero. Net Zero. Yes. Yeah, right? I do remember Net Zero. Net Zero was free with ads. Wow. So if All we, you kids are going, what? Well, what, yeah, what are they no, talking about? This is yes. back in the day. This in is back Donald, in the day. This right? is the 90s. I know. Am I? Are we getting old, man? We're getting old, dude. Dang, dang. We're getting old, dude. All right. You know, so, so anyway. Dial I got, like, yeah. <laughs> our school, though, we had like when we early, like, oh, I don't even say it was a T1 landline to our school. So mm -hmm. we actually had like, not actually, the speed you're talking about now, like <laughs> the gigabit and so forth. What? But, we had good speed, but it was all IRC. It was all chat rooms. It That's was internet all relay the chat. Boards. BBs, yeah, yep. buying the bull boards. Um, so we got onto that, and um, such limitations probably okay now. We, <laughs> we basically ping flooded the mm -hmm. network a few times. I didn't, but I had a friend who was able to access one of the teacher's computers. This is all before cybersecurity, yeah. so nobody had things locked down. You had passwords, but they were passwords. So that got me going on things. Right after high school, I started watching movies like Hackers, um, uh, War Games, what? Sneakers, and Hackers themselves, and I'm wearing like, you see a hacker planet. If you haven't watched those three, I always say required viewing. Required, required yes. viewing. Yes. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Maybe Hackers, War Games, Sneakers. Early hacking culture, they'll be dated, but it's how things kind of started. Mm -hmm. I never got into phone freaking. One thing that I still to this day want to try doing, I don't know if I can, no, no, but no, I no. want to do phone freaking because mm -hmm. that was also good. I'm throwing things at you, go Google them, go Google them. Um, but anyway, I realized this was a thing. Hacking is a thing, cybersecurity, this notion of being secure and being able to access things got in my brain. Yep. Starting in the college, a long story short, it's too late, I'm sorry, but this, I'm, <laughs> I'm moving through things a little bit faster in a minute. But I, I ran in, and I started finding a few friends that were hackers and that used to hack. And I started learning things. And our college, of course, didn't have a cybersecurity degree like you can find anywhere now, usually. Um, so I got into theater, but on the side, I'm over here looking at things, looking at bulletin boards, reading things, learning things, breaking computers, getting viruses. And that's how I learned. That's I learned sure. hands-on from people who were hackers, learned about the culture, learned about the dark web, learned about all these things myself. And so, you know, I'm, I'm over here doing a theater stage tech degree, but on my spare time, I'm always the computer guy. Yeah. I'm sure you know the yeah, computer sure. guy. Was, um, Your family well. knows you're the computer guy. Yeah, Your friend right. So <laughs> I was learning all hands on, figuring things out, backtrack, yep. you know, which is now, which is now called Cal uh, Cal Linux. But I was learning all these things just myself, just hands on, and that's why I love 
now I'm working, uh, I, got, oh, I got a degree uh, at the College of Southern Nevada. I got a degree in uh, Associated Applied Sciences, Cybersecurity, Digital Forensics, the longest degree name that I've ever been into. <laughs> But, but it sounds good. Man. Yeah. It sounds really good. So I'm right now working with Hover Vista. <laughs> nice. And um, I'm teaching the hands on portions because that's where I came from and what I help. But I love teaching people to get your hands dirty in safe environments, build up a virtual machine, and do stuff. So that's where I'm at right now. That's my, my love. Yeah. So I guess I've never actually said <laughs> my. My background. Do it. What, yeah. right? I'm gonna do it right I, now. I'm doing I spent, it. I spent a half an hour. I know. So you, I get you to lay it down. Hour now. All right, cool. So <laughs> I guess it started all back with uh, my mom and dad. My mom's always been like had computers around us, right? So we had two of them. What is it? Five and a quarter. No, the, the, the super floppies. one four. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Zip yeah. drives, jazz drives. My mom still has them. Yeah. And in the house that actually worked with CRT monitors, no joke. My mom was uh, up to everything. Wow, yeah, so we did cool. all of our um, school and learning on that. Like my first like DOS program was called XTree, so it was kind of like Tree on Linux where you had right. Like, all the I was gonna say I know that name. I've read yeah. that name before. Yeah, XTree was like back wow. in the day, right? Yeah, so yeah. So then we got internet, and that was the like, oh my god, I love dude. That, that when I heard that sound, it made sound. me feel so good. Right? <laughs> I was like getting I'm online, online. I'm online. Getting online. But what ended up happening was, man, I was going to like different pages, and there were different. Okay, so on ARL, you had all the chat rooms, right? Oh, yeah. And oh, everybody yeah. on the chat rooms had these bots, and the bots would bust into the room and, like, be able to serve different things on the on the chat rooms. Yeah. Do you yeah, remember that? I remember that. I do remember that. You're going, so, you're going back a little bit. I'm like, see, wow, yeah, you're going see? back a little bit. So we yeah. had ARL 4.0 <laughs> at the time, right? <clears throat> and I was trying to learn how to get these bot programs right. to work. So you could have, right. like, different files on your computer that you can serve on the AOL chat rooms. Oh, All right. yes, yes, All right. yes. So yeah. I started going to different web pages to try to find how to do it. And it ended up, I, the first thing I remember was extensions, right? Mm -hmm. So you would have like .zip file formats. Yep. It's like, what is a .zip file format? And I was like reading all these forms and stuff. And they were right. like, oh, you need WinZip to open a .zip file. Right. I was like, right. oh, right. oh, no. These applications go with these uh, pro these types of extensions. Yeah, and you're taking so, like WinRare, the rare, the dot .rare right? files and so forth. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you had all the yeah. extensions. So I started going through and they were like, oh, well, <laughs> These bots don't work on AOL 4.0. Even then, they had you had to use AOL 2.5. So you used to have to go find an older version of yeah, AOL. Yeah. So those bots work because yeah. in AOL 4.0, they had uh, security that was actually stopping those bots from working on 4.0. But right. if you were running like the old uh, AOL 2.5, you could run the actual applications. See, and I don't want to stop for a second. This is a good <laughs> opportunity to say. Of, of the hacker mindset. We're talking about hackers today. Exactly. And that's always the thing that I've naturally been born with mm -hmm. and then realized when I got online, wait, it's it's the how can I make this work? How can I make this work the way I want to make it? Exactly. How do I make this or break this? How does this work? Taking things apart. When I got online, yep. that's exactly the mindset I have of yep. like, wait a minute. So Maybe I can do this with that. Yep. And it's taking tools and tweaking them, breaking them, working. May I have to go backwards to mm -hmm. 2.5? 2.5 works. Okay. Yep. And that's the How hacker mindset. People ask me about hacker. That's the mindset. It's not, I want to get in still the stuff. No, no. Uh, how, do, how do I make this work? What is an actual hacker? That's what, we, what we're, yeah. we're talking We've been talking about this for about two weeks. We've yeah. been saying we're going to make this video, we're going to lay it out, and actually debunk a lot of the myths yeah. of what is a hacker what because a hacker? everybody believes now that any computer that I'll touch if I say it oh yeah I'm a professional hacker oh <laughs> do I need to lock up my passwords do I need to cut off my yeah, computer like, that's like, not what it is no. right <laughs> that's, no. that's not what the original hacker mentality was, was. it's like trying yeah. to get stuff to work from you right. want, you know what you want to do but how do you how get, do get that get to work, to work? One way or the other, we're gonna get it to go. Yeah, right? why doesn't that work that way? Let me let me work on some things and tweak some stuff and so forth. So, exactly. Yeah, I just want to jump in because I yeah, no, you're, you're, you're hitting the hacker mindset. Exactly. Like, wait, if I go backwards to another earlier version, that, that will work. 
Yeah. Boom. And it went from that on, like, all from there was, you know, it went from just like you were saying, now I'm the computer guy for the whole family. Anything right. breaks. So it went from, it to uh, yeah, everything that kept <laughs> happening on my system, I was getting viruses. I was getting all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. And um, it was my pastor who gave us my first uh, laptop, right? <gasps> no the, way. My first laptop, for sure. No way. But he, cool. So cool. Let, me, let me explain. All right. So, Pastor Hank, if you're watching this, <laughs> I'm calling Shut you out, up. right? I'm calling Shut you out. out. <laughs> so what ended up happening was, man, I was breaking the computer so often right. and my pastor started ghosting me. So I was like, it was true. I would, I would actually break my system and then I'll be like, uh, could you fix this? And he started ghosting me. Like, oh, my dude. pastor ghosted me. That's whoa, why. Whoa, that's pastor's why. getting called out right now. It's not a shout out. No, a call out. A call. He <laughs> ghosted me, man. And I was oh, like, dude. He was like uh, I don't have my computer anymore. So that's when I learned how to format. Because right. So right. that right. and uh, tying that in, so I'm not just talking about my pastor. Yeah. Tying that in, what that right. was was um, that hard knowledge. So when you're going through stuff and stuff's a struggle, and you still, you know, I wanted my computer back. I wanted it to work. Right. right? It's your computer. You gotta get it working somehow. Exactly. So I yeah. had to figure out how to format my disk. Yeah. So I learned how to format my disk, and I was like, oh, knew how to <laughs> reinstall Windows. Reinstall Windows. Yeah. You're like, and we're good. And it's on. So every time I blew up my computer, I was like, it doesn't matter. Wipe if it, it does, put another yeah. one on there, and keep dude, going. My hard drive was only a gig. Like my hard drive. I know, but at the time though. <laughs> that was huge. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're isolating all the like teenagers right now because they're like, what? Right? A gig. But no, like you thought, I'm never going to use a full gig of Seriously. memory. So I remember that like, dude, 516 megabytes. Yeah, I'm, I'm set. I'm uh. set. So that's awesome, all I, need. Right? I was like, one gig? That's <laughs> I can put I everything on there now. But it didn't hurt to get right. rid of one gig worth of stuff because I could always go and download my Simpsons. Oh, uh, well, you can download it and then walk away, have dinner, yeah. watch a movie, and no, then come no, back. It might be halfway down at that point. Yeah, it did take a lot. I, I, I would go to work. I would get on Napster. I get on Napster and all that. And I would go to, I would go to work, work you know, six hours, right. come home. I might have a couple songs. It, this is true. This is true. <laughs> See? So all you guys that, are lucky nowadays. Take away for you guys, you're lucky. And speed speed was, you know, it was the anticipation. <laughs> yeah, no. I come gig. home, I'm like, I got my songs, man. Yeah. This is cool. Right? Seriously. That was the day back then. That was back in the day. So dude, it just grew from there. <laughs>